Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn about database management system. What is a database management system? A database management system or DBMS is a system that provides an interface to manage data stored in a database. It will provide a number of features including the ability to connect the DBMS to a database, operations to store, manipulate and retrieve data from a database, reporting features to report on data within a database, support for administration including backup, creating and managing users, access permissions, etc. What is the difference between the DBMS and databases? A DBMS is a software program that is used to interact with the database while the database itself is a collection of data. Let us explain the difference with an analogy. Like the DBMS, the word processor is also a software program that manipulates the documents. The documents themselves are similar to a database that contains the data manipulated by the program. So basically, DBMS is the software and database is data. What does a DBMS do? It manages data in a structured way including integrating data from a variety of sources and sharing that data among a number of users and applications. In order to do this effectively, the DBMS must provide a wide variety of features and they are security, logical data access, multi-user access, transactions, integrity constraints. Now let us look at those one by one. Security. The DBMS controls who has access to the data stored within each database. It handles different levels of access and ability including the ability to view, change and administer different parts of each database. Logical data access. The DBMS allows its users to access data in a friendly way. The users do not need to worry about where or how the data is stored. This logical structure is typically represented as data records. The DBMS will then map this logical record structure onto physical media to ensure persistence. Multi-user access. Usually, the DBMS is capable of handling more than one user at a time. Integrating a wide range of data typically means that multiple groups of users will want to access the information, possibly at the same time. Transactions The DBMS allows actions to be performed in groups in such a way that either all of the actions complete or they all fail. This is a very important concept when you want to perform a group of related actions on the data in the database. Integrity constraints. Data integrity is important and as a centralized source of data, the DBMS ability to enforce integrity is very important. DBMS products typically support a range of integrity constraints that help ensure that the data in the database is correct. In total, the DBMS manages the data the database engine which allows the data to be modified, locked and accessed and the database schema which defines the database logical structure. It also provides concurrency, security, data integrity, uniform administration procedures like change management, performance monitoring, backup and recovery, automated rollbacks, logging and auditing. Next, who uses a DBMS? DBMS is used by a variety of users and broadly speaking, they are the application developers, the end users and the administrators. The application developers uses the DBMS products to manage data for their applications. 
the end users and they typically make use of the data stored in the database. They may interact with the DBMS directly but are more likely to interact with applications developed by the application developers. And we have the administrators. They ensure that everything keeps working. They interact with the database to add new users, perform backups, monitor performance, etc. Types of DBMS. There are broadly speaking two types of DBMS. One is the desktop DBMS and the other is the server DBMS. A desktop DBMS is aimed towards single user desktop applications and the examples are Microsoft Access, FileMaker Pro, Paradox, Lotus Approach and Fox Pro. A server DBMS is designed with security, reliability and performance in mind. These DBMS products run as services on servers and are connected to over the network. The examples are Apache Derby, Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, IBM DB2, Sybase ASC, Informix, MySQL and Pro Progress SQL. Types of DBMS based on what kind of data they store. The first and the most important is the RDBMS where data is stored to rows and columns to form tables. And while mentioning the RDBMS, we must mention SQL or Structured Query Language. It is a standard programming language for defining, protecting and accessing data in a RDBMS. The next type is NoSQL DBMS suitable for loosely defined data structures that may evolve over time like the big data. In memory DBMS, it provides faster response time and better performance. Columnar DBMS, which is suitable for data warehouses having a large number of similar data items. Cloud-based DBMS, where the cloud service provider manages the data. Now, what issues to consider when selecting a database management system? The first one is what technical requirements do you have for the data? How much data are you going to be storing? What kinds of reports do you want to get? Next is who will be using the databases managed by the DPMS? What kind of applications? Who has access to these applications? Do they have different levels of access? What kinds of roles will these people play? How will the data be accessed, mostly read, write or balanced? And how much do you want to spend on the DBMS? And what kind of hardware and operating system will it be running on? Hope this video was helpful for you. Please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you.